Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your blog more readable for Google so that Google can essentially make you rank higher on Google SEO, all right, or the search engine. So the whole purpose behind this is that the more readable your blog is, or the more visually appealing it is, the better you're going to do from a Google standpoint. The more ranking you're gonna get over time, people are gonna stay on your website longer, they're gonna get what they need longer, there's gonna be less bounce, and overall, you're going to rank higher, okay? At the end of the day, the whole reason why we create blogs is because we wanna get the attention uh, from people through Google, all right? So let me go ahead and show you this blog post on my blog that I share publicly, or how, how to boost testosterone.org. Um, and I'm gonna select this one to just kind of reference it to you. And I want you to focus on everything in this section downward, okay? So here I have my thumbnail, which is fine. Everybody has their own thumbnails. Uh, but it starts off here with a highlighted disclaimer. And then I have some text and then I have a break in the text with a gray background here through the table of contents. Now, I personally like to add table of contents sometimes. It's not something that you have to do all the time, but it does make it a little bit easier for people to navigate to where they want to read to. So, for example, if somebody was to click on this, they would go ahead and click, and it would scroll them down all the way down to a section that is related to it, okay? So that's the first part, is creating a table of contents that is anchor text. And I actually do that through right here, and I'll kind of show you how I'm doing this. Uh, just a little FYI for everybody, using rocketwebbuilder.com, you could start your blog for as low as $13 a month, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So here you could see these are just text-based links, okay? They're hyperlinked, so after I write text, I highlight something. I click this little button and it adds a link. The way I do this is I go to any single category here, like let's say any container, like clenbuterol. I'll go ahead and select this block and I will save an anchor point name. So let's say I call it clenbuterol. Then when I want to link to it, right, <clears throat> and uh, like this, right, I'll highlight clenbuterol and then I'll add it a hyperlink. And then what I'll do is click on anchor point. And then this anchor point is I'm going to go over here, how to boost testosterone blog, and I have to locate my actual blog, which is this exact same one. Then I'll find clean butyrol, click, and then select. And that's it. That's how you anchor text so that whenever somebody clicks this link again, it will take them straight to this section. And I can actually go ahead and uh, demonstrate for you uh, by if I click Anavar, guess what? It scrolls me down to Anavar. If I click Trend blown, it just scrolls me down to trend blown. If I scroll down to, if I select Winstrol, it selects me there. So this is the anchor point for this blog post, okay? These are anchor points. And anchor points are phenomenal for table of contents, right? So, and, and just a little FYI is a lot of people do table of contents without any anchors. They just leave text. And that's okay, but it doesn't really serve the purpose in that case, all right? Um, and then here I have products that are affiliate marketed in red. So this is going to take, this is going to essentially uh, take people's focus away from everything else going on because it's red. So people are going to click on it and it's going to take them down to an affiliate marketing product. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is when you do create your blogs, feel free to create images, add videos titles, um, different buttons as well. Uh, these buttons, if you look, they all have little, like, I guess you could say kind of features or, or um, uh, animations. That's really what I was looking for. And you can see here, whenever I take my mouse and scroll over a button, it has this, like, colored feature. Anything to get people on your website staying longer helps, okay? And I'll show you how to do that. So all of these buttons here have the exact same features, right, or animations, I'm going to change this one here to show you how it works. So after you add a button within Rocket Web Builder, you could do this by clicking on the widget button, drag it. After you do that, you can go over here to the button and click on the edit styling. You can also click on edit, but that will just edit like where the link is, the, the you know, all that kind of stuff, all right? The, the, the second line, the icon, so I can, let's just say, add an icon here, and I can add, for example, a cart button or a cart image, so something like that, uh, just makes it more attractive. I can go to edit styling, and then I can look for text style, I can look for shadow, there's different things. So I'll add a shadow, why not? That will make it a little bit more visually appealing. And I'll drag this around just to see how the shadow looks, and I can make the shadow black, okay? Now, the shadow it is not really appearing as much because it's lighter. So if I go like this, you can see it appears a lot more. And then what I could do is give it some visual space, like that, 
between the text above it and the, the actual thing here, the button. Um, I can even create a gradient button if I wanted to. And I could do that with like the red colors that I like. So, for example, if I want this to be red, I can make it like a real dark red here. And then let me go ahead and go back to the shadow um, or the gradient rather. So add gradient, gradient settings, and then go over here and then go create like a really light, like a dark or even even like a light. It doesn't really matter. But you see how the color transitions like that kind of like that. I could do that as well. I could just get rid of the gradient altogether, edit the styling here. We have different stuff. This is the hover effect, the animation I was telling you. I could do like a grow animation so the button will get bigger, just like that. I could do a pop animation. So it'll be like that. Fade in, which we already saw. We have fill in with color, so it will look like that. Slide color to the right. So you'll see how it looks in just a second. Uh, if I was to use it, grow plus shadow. Um, so grow plus shadow is pretty good. We have flow upward. And so kind of like bounce. Um, I actually like the pop one. I feel like that that's pretty decent. Um, and then I'm just going to go over here and hit update. Just that simple. Okay. Um, another way you can add some more readability or some uh, better visual aspect to your blog is go over here and add accordions, right? Use the widgets, guys. Use the widgets as much as you can. Um, countdown timers, right? You could turn your whole blog post into a landing page. Portfolios. Um, you can add other blogs. So let me show you this. So at the end of this blog post, and this is actually a good idea here. I have this empty like section. That's where I'm going to add recommended blogs. Okay, so I'll go over here and I'll go to my blog widget, which should be here at the bottom, and I'll just drag it. Okay, and instead of having like a bunch of lists like this, I'm going to go over here and I'm actually going to keep this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep this and I'm going to move it downward one. And then I'm going to add another one here, but it's going to be a little bit more visually appealing. So I'll go over here and something like this and then instead of recent post i'm going to show image and description right here and then instead of recent post i'm going to go to most popular categories uh actually you know what let's pick recent post and we'll pick a certain category so we'll pick uh let's see here let's pick the ingredients one so ingredients uh, effects on testosterone so this will show all different ingredients and i'll cut this down to like let's say four or five so i'll go over here and i'll show the last four posts right and so it'll look kind of like that and if i want to edit the display or anything like that like how it's viewed i can do that as well so i can add it like a masonry style kind of like this um, that works uh, in my case if it's going to be four and i'm going to go with this i'm going to edit it and down to three just so it looks a little more clean but kind of like that. And that's it, right? So um, that's the blog section where I recommend other blogs. This is the end of the blog post, right? This is the conclusion. But then here I have more recommended blogs, right? Um, here, this section right here is I replaced a listicle with this. Now I'm going to create a full tutorial as a how to uh, how I did the um, I'm actually going to leave the link in the description. It's already out of how I did this exact section right here with the affiliate links. But this section here, is um, a, a listicle, right? So the concept of the of the article is which steroids are used for leaning out. But I'm also going to recommend that steroids aren't the best idea. So I'm going to say uh, how, like, what other supplements as an alternative, which is here, this is a listicle. But then I, I, instead of including another listicle, which is where I'm saying, like, ways to maintain optimal health, right? I'm going to create these boxes for each section. I could easily create, like, a list type blog and just add warm up, stretch, incorporate rest days, all this. But instead, I, let me be more visually appealing with it, right? Let me have add more readability. And the more features that I could do or more things that I could add, the better it is. Now, I'll show you kind of how I created this. So all I did here was I went to add block, okay? And I looked for a block, I think it was in the services section. Here we go. Um, that looked something like this, I believe, right? Just like this, where it was image, title, text, and button. I deleted all the buttons. I didn't need them, okay? Um, deleted them. You can keep them if you want for like affiliate marketing or anything like that or uh, recommending like a, a, an internal blog post. So for example, like joint supplements. 
I can have a blog uh, button here, like I can add it, just like the way it was structured here, and I could say, see our recommended joint supplement list, right? So they'll click on it, and it will take them to another blog post about the joint supplement list. So that's another way to do that. And that serves multiple purposes. And this is honestly why I use this exact software, Rocket Web Builder, for building the blogs, because it's really a better landing page builder. And that's why I use it, right? Um, also, it's very affordable and things like that. But that's not the point. The point is, is that I could do these things that make it much more visually appealing as opposed to just sitting and reading like just straight up text. Nobody wants to see an article that was written like in 2005 because there's just going to be words on a screen. The more colors, the more separations, the more things like that, the better it will be visually for me. Okay, and once I put it all on my website, I can go ahead and refresh this and you could see how it all looks. It looks really, really good. Right. And that's pretty much it. It's not that complicated. Uh, everything like this has a pop up or a light box. And I'll show you how I did that. Um, so here I added an image. Right. Which is another widget in our um, widget section. OK. I just drag and drop the image and then clicked on the image, hit edit image. And then I added an alt alt text. OK. For SEO purposes. Edit link. And then I open link in a on click. So it's a light box kind of, but, uh, or excuse me, not a light box. It's a, it has this animation that when you hover over, it expands and then it opens up to this link. So if I was to go in and click on it, guess what? It takes me straight to the affiliate marketing product. All right, guys. So that's kind of how you make a blog more readable. It's just about adding different elements, different icons, different buttons, different things to make the blog post look good. All right. And I do that obviously through Rocket Web Builder, which I'll leave the link in the description if you want to get started. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.